Hey folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. It's 2.01 p.m. on August 18th, 2024 in West End, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 24 degrees outside on a cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.5 kilometers, starting by the bus stop at Burrard and Alberni, then stroll northwest on Robson, ending my trek by the bus stop at Demon and Robson. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforrestwood. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. Walking along Burrard Street. Here in the West End, of course on this side of Burrard Street, we are in the West End. If we are on that side of Burrard Street, we're in the downtown. Now we'll turn on the Robson Street here for you. one of our biggest retail strips in the downtown core as well as in Vancouver Balancing act, taking her off the jacket while I'm balancing kid. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's keep walking. We have uh, three cruise ships in the area today, so of course you can see it's quite busy for an overcast to gray Sunday with no major festivals in the area. There is a vintage clothing sale with multiple vendors from across the lower mainland here in the North Shore and Vancouver over at the Vancouver Art Gallery but there is uh, nowhere in <laughs> there is usually this would be a lot more quiet if it was an overcast day and there was rain so Definitely brings in the crowds here. And of course, in and amongst the tourists and the people that don't necessarily directly live here, there's obviously locals as well. Both locals from in and around the Vancouver area as well as the locals that live directly down here in the west end or the downtown core. Yeah, you can see this is the intersection of Thurlow and Robson Street. And we'll wait for the light to change and then continue strolling. They do come down here on a uh, Black Friday or uh, Boxing Day. This place can get quite busy, including in and around the Christmas holiday season as well. And you can see the same type of phenomenon, but to a slightly smaller group. You head on over also to a West 4th Ave which is the west side's major retail strip of the same kind. There's the Ovo store. <laughs> Don't usually hear the question, where's the Ovo store from Vancouverites? And Drake isn't as big over here on the west coast as back in my hometown of Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously that's someone from 
outside of Vancouver. <laughs> I'm probably from Toronto. <laughs> not a big status, status symbol to wear OVO wear over here. That's more of a cliche. As some would say. Let's keep walking here. Over here, they're working on the pipelines underneath the street. I'm taking out the old pipelines that are were very old, and they're putting in the new pipelines with the different plastics and metal coatings and all that type of stuff. When I was going golfing. You just got to be patient over here right now because it is quite busy and there is not a lot of space with the construction going on. some of the tubes and pipes that they're putting in. Not necessarily bigger. And the materials will hopefully be more resilient. in here. Looks like the sun's trying to poke through the clouds. Maybe we'll get a break, who knows? You'll see a flood of Vancouverites come onto the street. <laughs> yeah, looks like we have the lights, so let's go. Looks like there's a nice lineup over here at Ram and Dembo. Always busy. Always busy. Not quite sure why they're always getting the lineup, but uh, I guess they're doing something right.
That person was wearing a McMaster University sweatshirt all the way from Hamilton, Ontario, all the way on the west coast here. Hmm. <laughs> Just hmm. <laughs> across the street here. VP6, four, <laughs> six S. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not waiting behind the line. Some drivers. Here's a new chicken place right here. It's a, not a new chain. Uh, as a business itself, but it is new to this area. And I have not seen the chain in the city of Vancouver before. So new to the area, I believe it's an American style chain, but I could be wrong. Of course, a lot of people when they come to Vancouver will think of other chains like Japa Dog, and they'll think that it started over here in Vancouver, because there's Japa Dog carts, and some brick and mortar restaurants all over the Metro Vancouver area, including in the airport, including also in the amazing Brentwood, as well as over on Robson Street. Near Robson and Seymour. But of course, uh, Japa Dog actually started in the United States. So it's not always or something that starts here in Canada. And sometimes our Canadian restaurants will go down and into the United States. So a lot of different cross-border traffic right now. I myself work for a company that started over here in Canada. And is now in a few decades, spread all the way, all across North America, so very interesting. This would be Cardero and Robson Street. Looks like it's our turn. Passing Zabu Chicken. They're open around 5 to 1, 5 to 2 a.m. And they're an evening place. And over here, this is the local Whole Foods. Whole Foods is really well known for its ready mates. So a lot of people will come down here and enjoy their ready made food right here on this patio. There's 
the Whole Foods sign for you. Some people think it's a, a little pricier of a place, but of course, there's always some deals in there. Get used to the different uh, grocery stores in the Metro Vancouver area. You can start to identify which stores, regardless of if they're considered a little more economically friendly or a little more affluent, and what they have for sale and what they don't have for sale, and get a feel of that. And then you can shop around and get some better deals. Ah, here the sun is poking through. That's a good sign. And we'll just wait for the light to change here. It's the intersection of Bidwell and Rosin Street. Now we'll keep walking down the street here for you. Whole bunch of different restaurants to check out if you are in this area. They don't get as much traffic as some of the other restaurants. So you can usually find a seat. So come on down, check it out. the park rangers that come down here for some lunch. Good to see. They're not too far away from Stanley Park where their outpost is. And this is the intersection of Demon Street and Robson Street. There goes one of our diligent food delivery people. Not always follow the rules of the road, but I've never seen them get into an accident, so I'm pretty cool with it. If they're not gonna cause any problems, then that's awesome. <laughs> and again, the intersection of Demon Street and Robson Street. Looks like it's our turn. Anyways, folks, I'm going to wait for the bus over here. So, thanks for coming along. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.